I'd like to tell you a story about my mother, if I may. She was a nurse, and I would talk to her about breathing, and she would be, why, what are you focusing on breathing for? We all breathe. I don't need to learn how to breathe any better. Well, when she was in her 80s, she never had taken any medication before that, but then she started taking blood pressure medication. And one day when I was home visiting her, I noticed her breath was so shallow and she was taking her blood pressure every 15 minutes. So finally I thought, aha, this might be the trick. So I asked her to take my blood pressure. She took it and she said, oh, Lori, what great blood pressure you have. And I said, thank you, mom. Now look what happens, mom, if I breathe like you've been breathing. So for about 90 seconds, I breathed very rapidly in my upper chest. Then she took my blood pressure again and it had shot up. She was like, oh my gosh. So I said, now mom, look what happens to my blood pressure when I breathe in my belly, very deep and very slow. So I did that for about 90 seconds, as deep and as slow as I could. My blood pressure went down and she said, oh my gosh, can you show me how? And that changed the last few years of her life. Breath literacy is the greatest, greatest thing that I can share with anybody. It's tools for life. And once we start becoming more aware of being aware of our breath, we realize, oh my gosh, I'm not breathing. I'm not breathing.